exploring STEM ideas, solving problems, building things, and breaking things. Please tell us what you're most curious about, and we will turn it into a story just for you. Welcome to STEM Stories for Kids. Today's story is about Jack and his junkyard skateboard. Jack went to pick up his sister Ari, and on the way back, he saw a big yard full of junk. Ari and Jack stopped to look at all the different things in the yard. They saw a wing of a broken airplane. It was huge. A cement mixer upside down. And a huge ball as big as a building. In a corner, Jack saw a broken skateboard and he asked his mother, Mom, can we please take the skateboard home and fix it? Okay, Jack, we can. Here is a bag. Put this in and we can take it home. But we need to clean it first and then we can look into fixing it. Jack runs into the junkyard. He climbs up on a few drums and then he gets on the wing of the plane. From here, he slides down the wing. Whee! And he gets closer to the skateboard. Jack picks it up and few other pieces that he thinks can be used to fix the skateboard. He runs back to Ari and his mom. Ari says, can I please paint the skateboard? Jack, that's a great idea, Ari. Of course you can. Once Jack is home, he takes a quick shower and cleans the skateboard. Meanwhile, Jack's dad, Matt, prepares a delicious pasta for lunch and the family has lunch together. After lunch, Jack's mother sets up the floor with a toolkit, a broken skateboard, and Ari gets her paints and paintbrushes. Jack's mom asks, Jack, do you know what are the different pieces that make up a skateboard so we can start looking for things around the house? Yes, yes, of course I know. We'll need some glue to join the deck. You know, deck is where the skateboarders stand. And we will need four small wheels to move the skateboard. Then we'll need the trucks. It's not the same as the fire truck or any other truck. It's a piece that joins the wheel to the board. Then we'll need to stick a grip tape on top of the board. A grip tape creates a rough surface so the board is not slippery. If the board is slippery, then the skateboarders will just fall. Ari asks, what if you go really fast on the skateboard? Will you fly off? That will be fun, Ari, but the ground's gravity pulls the skateboarders back to the ground. What is gravity? You know, if you throw a ball in the air, the ball comes back, you know? And what brings the ball back is the gravitational force. So if you throw anything, it comes back to the ground. Jack's mom asks, so I have a question. If I drop a leaf and a rock from top of a place structure, which will hit the ground first? Rock, I think it's rock. That's right, the bigger the mass of something, the faster it comes down. Okay, let's try again. If we were to drop a popcorn and a water bottle, which one will reach the ground first? The water bottle. You are right. Kids, do you want to try it out at home with an adult? Take two different things and when you drop them, see which one hits the ground first. The one that hits the ground first will have the bigger mass and a stronger gravitational force. Jack, Jack's mom, and Ari take the whole afternoon to fix the skateboard and put different parts together. Once it's done, Ari paints the bottom of the skateboard. In the evening, they plan to take it to the skateboard park and to give it a try. At the park, Jack meets another kid who has got a little mountain bike and he comes to Jack to introduce himself. Hi, my name is Ryan. Your skateboard looks so cool. Do you want to switch it with my bike, please? I would love to try your skateboard. Hi, Ryan. Sure, I love bikes. 
you can try my skateboard and I'll ride your bike, but only for 20 minutes. Then I would like to have my skateboard back. Sure, I can ask my dad to set a timer. So when it's 20 minutes, he can let us know. Kids, have you tried setting timers? So if you want to see how fast you can change your clothes, ask an adult to set a timer for you. Once the timer starts, you will need to quickly change your clothes. Once you're done, ask them to stop the timer. You will then know how long it takes you to change your clothes. It can take one minute, two minutes, or maybe five minutes. It's a fun thing to do. Find out how long it takes you to change your clothes. Ryan's dad lets everyone know. Okay kids, 20 minutes are over. Now you can switch back. Thanks, Jack. This skateboard was so much fun. Thanks for sharing. You know, Ryan, I made this with my sister and my mother. There are tons of broken skateboards at a junkyard close to my home. You can come with me someday and we can pick one up and then fix it together. That is such a cool idea. Okay, everyone, it's time to go home. Kids, do you have any broken thing at home that you can try to fix? If you do, please send us the pictures on stemstoriesforkids.com. If you have any other fun ideas about building new things, or you have drawn something for fun, or did a cool science project, please, please send them to us on stemstoriesforkids.com. And we'll post a story about it here.